Hello, I can't believe you're here. I honestly can't believe that I'm here. I didn't think I would ever make it to see this day, but I am done renovating our house near Joshua Tree, California. We're at almost a finish line. Spoiler alert, there are gonna be things that you're gonna see that are not done yet, but there's a lot of stuff that we do have, and I felt like since it's been so long, I should at least give you an update on what we've got going on so far. If you want more house content, make sure to hit that subscribe button too while you're here. Let's start from the very beginning. I don't know if you guys remember during the initial walkthrough of this house, this area looked very different. It was a much more dated, more traditional looking entrance to the house. So I drove two and a half hours with this door sitting on my shoulder to deliver this door. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's beautiful. Also, I upgraded the fixtures and also the windows throughout the house. You'll notice as we walk through and then I just put a little bench here for additional seating. All right, let's go inside. All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up By the way, Smart Wings is partnering with me on this video and I, I, I truly have no words. Smart Wings shades are incredible and I can't wait to tell you more. Okay, welcome to the living dining room. This place looked a lot different than it does now. There was a huge L-shaped random wall in the middle of the room that I thankfully was able to knock down, which really turns this into an open concept living dining space, which I'm not always a fan of, by the way. I kind of like separate rooms, but for what we have going on here, I feel like open concept was perfect for us. Let's walk into the new kitchen. Should I close my eyes and let her again? Hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time. I remember that it's old. Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So I If you'll remember the kitchen here before, I don't think the cabinets have been updated in like 30 years. I was going to try my best to paint them and salvage them, but we ran into some kinks in the road. No, bumps in the road, kinks in the hose. No, that's not a thing, is it? Okay, so we had to replace all the cabinets and then we also ended up doing new countertops. One of my favorite things that we did in the kitchen was we opened up these cabinets. There used to be hanging cabinets here and we opened all of this up, not only to open up the living dining space, but we have this massive picture window. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. But you wanna have views when you're in here and with all that cabinetry, it really clouded all the views. I'm obsessed with these countertops. They're from Cambria. They were quite literally a splurge. But I'm so glad that we did it because it is a type of artwork in the house. We don't have a lot of artwork in this house. There's not a lot of space on walls to hang things. So this was really our moment to bring that character, that uniqueness to this space. And while it was Expensive. It was cheaper than putting tons of artwork around all of these walls. Let me live in denial. <laughs> One thing I love also about having our stove here, having a stove with a view is so cool. I'm so used to a wall being here when I'm cooking or frying up stuff. I never get to enjoy views. We have a lot of storage space, even though this is kind of a small kitchen. We didn't upgrade our appliances. We did get kind of a bougie microwave, but you know, that's okay. At least we get to keep, got to keep everything else. This is my favorite coffee maker of all time. I'll link a lot of this stuff below if I have links for it. If there's anything in this house that I would take back with me to LA, it would be this. Moving on to this side of the room, I bought this really stunning bar cabinet. I love it. We're going to use it not only for alcohol tools and gadgets and gizmos aplenty, but we're also going to use it for coffee supplies as well. This chair is an outdoor chair that I just moved inside because I wanted to see kind of what the vibe would be if I got this as an indoor chair. I will link these. These are the most comfortable chairs 
coziest I've ever sat in. And I'm just thinking we might just keep it inside. That's how amazing it is. You might remember that we had our old stove that was kind of in the middle of the living room, which I love, but we wanted to have that wall available for a television. So we moved the stove and put a stove here in the corner, which I think makes it a lot more intimate. But I need to show you my absolute most favorite decision that we've made at this house. It's these huge picture windows. We did 90 by 80 inch picture windows. The windows that were here before were tight, small, they had grids in them, and they were fine. But this is the west view. This was where the sun would set every day. And I wanted this, again, since we didn't have a lot of art space in this house, I wanted this to be the artwork. And the only way this would work for us, because it gets so hot with these huge windows, was to get custom roller shades. I don't know if you've shopped for shades before, but roller shades that have a remote or is connected to your Alexa, they are outrageously expensive. I think I was quoted like $3,000 per window for each of these, and there was no way that was gonna work in our budget. And then I found Smart Wings. They're a window treatment company. They have all kinds of roller shades, drapes. They really have it all, and at incredible prices. I've not seen prices this affordable. These were like a quarter or a third of the price of the quotes I was getting. I actually was like, this is too good to be true. <laughs> but when I got them delivered to my house, literally within a week, they came so fast. I was drooling. They have a ton of amazing fabrics to choose from. These come with a remote and this remote can hold up to 15 different windows on it. So for these big windows, I got the double roller shades, which means I have kind of this sheer transparent shade and then I have a blackout curtain as well. That way if somebody wants to stay here and they want to sleep on the couch, you can still have it blacked out here. I got single roller shades for these. And the thing about Smart Wings, it's so easy to assemble these and install these yourself. You do not need a handyman or a professional. Matt and I did all of the windows in the living room, which is six windows, within like an hour by ourselves. Every day when I am here, I sit on this couch and I tell Matt, it's time for the show. I feel like I'm watching like a Broadway theater show because I raised the curtain and I watch the sunset every day. And look, they're both, they're both opening. How cool is that? Oh, I love them so much. I can't even tell you how much I love them. <laughs> they are completely chargeable. Um, we also have solar panels that charge them. You just stick it to the window and it just constantly charges. But you can also plug your smart wings in and charge them. I think one charge lasts six months or something crazy like that. But what we ended up doing is putting outlets. We haven't finished this project, but we put outlets right next to the smart wings because we want to put a big valance over the wall and it just allows us to easily keep our smart wings charged at all times. You don't have to do that. It's not necessary, but we just decided we'd put a little twist on it. Don't you think this is like the, one of the coolest things we have at the house? It's the best. I know. It's so cool. So at night, I always say I'm putting the house to bed. I'm closing my smart wing shades. I know they're partnering with me on this, but I swear by them. Click the link in my description to check out smart wings motorized dual shades. You will not regret it. Austin, Texas, bonus points. I know, Matt's from Texas. So. Okay, this is our little TV section. Somebody damaged my TV, so we have to get a brand new TV. Not so fun. We also had a big console here where we could put a record player, which is what Matt and I really wanted in this house. I have already started a awesome record collection down here so if you have any suggestions for what records we should include please let me know in the comments right now I've got Taylor Swift's Midnight's because obviously that's everyone's first record they buy isn't it here in our kitchen we still have a few things that have not been shipped yet we don't have our kitchen chairs for our kitchen table or our stools for kind of like the counter but we did install these really pretty drapes I also installed this really pretty organic textured light fixture the reason why I did this and I did do kind of a hanging fixture here is because again I didn't want to block any of the views so the floors are looking fabulous which I hated them before we are getting some rugs to cover up some of the patchy spots but all in all I've really loved having concrete floors it's easy to clean it doesn't really show dirt and they're really really durable it took a long time to find a couch for this space because it needed to be a hearty couch one that could survive dogs a lot of wear and tear but it also had to be comfortable 
comfortable and fit a lot of people because we don't have a lot of seating in this room. So I opted for this couch. I will link it below. It took about four months to get here, just so you know. But we're so thrilled with it. It's very deep, which what I love about that, not only is it comfy and cozy to sit on, but you know, if you have kiddos and they want to sleep on the couch, there's enough space here for two people to sleep pretty comfortably on this couch. So I love it. Benji loves it. You'll notice that it looks like a toddler got a hold of the tape. It's me. I'm the toddler in that example. I started mapping out a few things that I was interested in possibly buying for this wall. So I was trying to decide if there was enough room to put art and also a mirror. There's no room to put mirrors in our bedroom. So I wanted one centralized mirror. So you can always check your outfit before you go out the door. So this is how I Picasso guys. This is like where my ingenious, I doubt my ingenious ideas start. Uh, let me know if you'd like to pay me to consult with you to design your house. This is the tiniest pantry of all time and we're getting pan new pantry doors here in the next week or two that are pane glass. But I put these really pretty floating shelves in here and I love them. I feel like when you have small weird things, instead of hiding them away, sometimes accentuating them and making them almost like an art piece center stage moment actually makes them seem less weird. So moving into the hallway, my first stop is the laundry room, which is really a closet. You guys saw that I renovated this entire area. I haven't done much to it since you saw that video, so I won't spend too much time here. I'll link that video down below if you wanna see this laundry room makeover. It was really epic and I love it in here, but we're still waiting for doors. So it looks kind of ratty and tatty in here. So everything else in here still looks stunning. All right, we're getting new doors for the hallway. They haven't come yet. This is our water heater. I'm not gonna show that to you because it's not aesthetic and this is supposed to be an aesthetic house floor. Let's go into the primary bedroom. a ton to renovate this room, but I have made some upgrades that I'm really happy about. The first is gonna be this closet, which again, we're waiting on massive sliding doors. They should be installed next week, but I wanted to build out a lot of storage in this closet. It is a huge closet. So I wanted to make sure we utilize this a little bit more wisely. So it's a his and hers with the shelving in the middle for extra towels or blankets. And it really just gives us so much more usable storage than we had before. One of my favorite things about this bedroom is the bed that we chose. It's this beige, creamy, velvet, pleated bed frame. This bed also comes in a darker color, which I almost wish I had gotten instead of this color because I think this is going to get dirty pretty fast. But it's so stunning and so romantic. My only note is it's kind of low on the ground. I wish it was like four inches higher. But that means we're going to have to get big art for this wall. The side tables, I just used old side tables that we had in this room before just so we could save budget. <laughs> which didn't really say me much, but at least it's something. Every penny counts. I installed a new ceiling fan in here, which really updates the space. This one is remote controlled, which is nice. And then one thing that is in the mail, and hopefully I'll have it here soon and I can share with you on Instagram if you're interested, is custom wall-to-wall -wall drapes. I wanted this whole wall to be draped in fabrics because I wanted it to feel romantic. And I feel like since this bed is such a low profile moment, I wanted some Thing to have a little bit more drama in the room. We also swapped out all of our outlets in the bedroom to have USB ports, which is so convenient. This wall here is going to be where we put another television. I'm on the fence. Do you want to have televisions in every room that you sleep in when you're on vacation? I'm on the fence about whether I should put TVs in every room or if I should just put a TV in the main room. What would you do? Let me know. In this corner, I want your opinion. It's kind of a tight corner, but I thought about instead of doing a rollaway bed in the closet, for this house, getting a pull out bed chair. And the only one I've really found is from Ikea and I thought it might be perfect for this corner nook. So if you were me and you wanted to sleep more people in this house, do you think I should put like a roll, not a roll away, but a pull out chair here? You guys saw I made over both bathrooms in a video on my channel. I really only featured the master bathroom in that video. So I will show footage of kind of the before and after of that now. Right now we had to pull the toilet up because we're doing some changes in there now. But look at this pretty footage. It's It was pretty, it will be pretty. Like just imagine this is what it looks like right now. But yeah, we're swapping out all the doors. Matt wanted to make sure we knew. 
because this is enough to like ruin the shot. You know what I mean? Like we're getting new doors, new door frames, new trim. It's gonna look so much better than this. I, I hope. I also really love this rug in here. Matt hates the rug. <laughs> he did not want this rug in here. He thought it was not sexy enough. That was literally the word he used. And I was like, has a rug ever been set? Have you ever walked into a room and said, wow, that is a sexy rug? And if you do, then we have a problem in our marriage. Tell the audience why we need this room to be sexy. It's true. There's a little bit of a secret going on. What I like about it is it's white and neutral, which is dangerous, but it has enough dimension and grays and browns that if it gets a little dirty, you won't notice it. Let me know if you think this is a sexy rug in the comments. I think it's freaking sexy. I I, I enjoy it. It's not like it's all you should say. Okay, so <laughs> this is our guest bedroom. and it is a tight fit in here. Before this room had a queen size bed, but we opted for a king size bed instead because Matt's family and Matt, they're very tall people. So we needed king size beds in both rooms, which makes this room real tight. But you know what, when you're out here, you're not spending that much time in the room anyway. So it was fine with me to do that, but it does make it complicated for side tables. We're on the hunt for two side tables right now. We're just using Ikea bar stools, but I do love the bed in here. It is a nice upgrade. It's this really beautiful woven basket weave type material. It's called the Aaliyah bed and it's stunning. I love it so much. It's one of those beds that I haven't seen a million times. A lot of these woven beds are really popular right now, but this one had a lot of specialness to it in my opinion and I'm really glad we opted for it. It's also one of the cheaper bed frames that I could find in this style. I did the same ceiling fan in here. We also did a closet build out in here as well. It's not as big as our other closet. I'm going to be putting some drawers also in this closet because there's not enough room in here for a dresser. Again, considering putting a TV on this wall, should we, should we not? And then also doing some sort of big piece of artwork here. But for right now, I'm using this Ikea lamp that was in the house when we bought it and it's been working okay. I actually really like this lamp a lot. This is the guest bathroom and we did a lot of similar choices that we did to the main bathroom as well in here. The only thing that we changed up in this bathroom is just which tile we used. Um, it's still really stunning. It just has a little bit of a different color profile and a little bit of a texture difference. We also added heated floors in here as well, which is such a nice touch. No pun intended. But we did the same shampoo shelf. We did the plumbing on the opposite side of the shower head so you don't get wet while turning it on. We did the concrete countertop. I did the LED mirrors. It is tight, so because it's so tight, instead of putting hooks on the wall, I opted for this uh, towel tree that folds out that you can also fold up against the wall so that, you know, if you have a tall, larger person in here, they're not hitting their head on a towel hook, um, which I thought was, that was a really clever idea if I do say so myself. <laughs> Retrofitting an old 80s house into something that's modern and updated is really a challenge. So I'm trying to get creative with how we maximize this space for every square inch of it. Behind me is the home office area. This used to be a mud room. It was almost like an extension of the hallway and I felt like it was such a waste of space that I wanted to turn it into a home office area so that when Matt comes, because he works like seven days a week, he'd have a place where he can come and work and if I have guests come, they have a place they can work as well. It doesn't photograph well on camera. It's very dark and moody in here. In person, it's velvety and yummy and delicious. But on camera, it's just hard to convey that, but we do love it. I mean, I made this artwork myself. We have an art light in here, and I got this chair off of TikTok. I was a sucker, as I always am on TikTok. It was really comfortable, though. It's pretty, you like it, right? Yeah. Yeah, Matt's a tall guy, so I think it really worked out. TikTok didn't fail me this time. Our backyard looks so much different now than it did when we bought this house. We have made huge upgrades, one being this gorgeous, massive patio overhang. We opted for going as big as possible. I think this was like 23 or 24 feet by 22 feet or something. It allows us so much more usable space. The house is pretty small. It's like 1,200 square feet. So having this extra like 600 square feet out here really does go a long way in enjoying the high desert, which it is very bright and very sunny up here. So you really want to have a place where you can have some shade, but also still be in nature, enjoy the breeze. Another thing that we did out here was to have a custom fire pit made for us. This one is about 
six and a half, seven feet. We wanted a big one because this house, we're technically sleeping four to six people, so we wanted to have enough room for everybody to enjoy it. We needed it to have a timer, and we needed it to have a lock and a gauge on how much gas people could use because it is hooked up to our propane tank. So having a fire pit with all those bells and whistles was a little bit challenging to find and very pricey if we could find it. So I think we got a pretty good deal on our fire pit, and it's one of our favorite things to do out here. And you guys will remember I did a video with our whole outdoor sauna setup. That was a massive project and we have enjoyed having that so, so much. I also have a outdoor shower out here that I just broke in for the first time a couple of weeks ago. So one of the big upgrades we're doing back here pretty soon is we're installing a pool and a hot tub. We're calling it a spool because it's not like the full length of a pool, right? I've never called it a spool. Well, what do you call it? Just a, a pool? Spool? Yeah. A spool is something else. No. It's a hot tub, a spa, and a pool, a spool. Just track with me on this. We're gonna be doing a hot tub and a pool and we're putting it right here next to the patio. So when it's chilly out here and you're in your skimpies, you could just jump right in the hot tub. Why are you looking at me that way? You're, you're worried that I'm calling it a spool? I'm just curious, we never talked about that. I think that came out just now, I'm flying. Well, that's my brain. Welcome. So that's kind of the whole walkthrough of what we've done so far. Again, there's still a few projects left that I have to tie up some loose ends with, but you guys know I will update you with all of the other upcoming projects. And let me know if you have any questions about what I've done and is there anything here that you would not have done if you were me. Go check out Smart Wings. I'm telling you, if you've been looking for an affordable, gorgeous window treatment, Smart Wings has you covered. They have amazing options. I'll link the house's Instagram down below as well. So I always update you guys on the happenings in the high desert too. So 